Hey guys, this is Ambi from underrockchance.com and welcome back to my NHL betting mold projections and predictions for today, Tuesday, December 19th. Uh, so far, 27 wins, 23 losses with small loss. Uh, and let's go to today's projections, okay? Uh, the purpose of this video is to share my projected winning percentages, projected goals from my betting model. This is something I do for free. Uh, and uh, we can go through the numbers and then, of course, we can find some uh, good bets. Uh, you can get insights into the probabilities. And what I recommend is that you make your own bets. So let's go through the numbers. Uh, New York Rangers, Toronto Maple Leafs. My betting model gives 56.58% to Toronto, 43.42% uh, to Rangers. Uh, I didn't solve bookmakers odds yet, but I think there's small value with Toronto at least based on the bookmakers that already opened the odds okay so i think there was some value i think you can get toronto at 1.90 or something like that so there there is small lead with toronto minnesota against boston bruins uh, i have boston bruins at 59.85 percent of chance uh winning probability for minnesota 40.15 percent uh, projected total is 5.87 uh, i also didn't solve bookmakers odds yet Philadelphia Flyers against Devils, Carter Hart, Vitek Vanacek, based on my projections, uh, uh, totals uh, 6.40 goals and winning probability for Devils 58.64%. Uh, my, uh, my projected odds plus 142 on Flyers and plus 146 from Bookmaker. So very small difference and uh, I don't see any value in this game. St. Louis against Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, I have Tampa Bay at 1.57, Bookmakers 1.61. So maybe small value with Tampa Bay. Uh, Columbus Blue Jackets, Buffalo Sabres. I have Merzlikis against Luke Conan. Projected goals 6.69. Projected winning percentages, Buffalo Sabres 58.59%, Columbus Blue Jackets 41.41%. Uh, so my projected underdog odds on Columbus Blue Jackets are plus 141, bookmakers plus 160. Uh, based on my personal criteria, uh, this is not qualified bet, but there is small value with Columbus Blue Jackets. Maybe puck line would be good good idea. Vegas Golden Knights, Carolina. Uh, I have uh, Carolina at 59.71% of chance uh, and I have them at 1.67, bookmakers 1.78. So they're struggling with Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, uh, based on my personal criteria, this is not qualified bet, but this is not that important. I'm sharing my probabilities with you. So if you make your own uh, analysis, they're struggling with Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, if you like them, I think this is a good uh, pick or bet. Of course, if you make also your own analysis. Uh, Oilers against Islanders. Uh, my predicted probability 40.31% on Islanders. 59.69% uh, to Oilers. So small value with Oilers. Uh, and based on my personal criteria, because I'm more selective. Because, you know, uh, professionals always bet way uh, only when they have something to bet okay they don't need to bet every single game uh gamblers they always need to bet something okay so this is why they are looking for picks uh, gamblers who never make money they always want to bet something no matter what they need to bet something because i think this is some addiction uh, but if you're professional if you do it seriously uh, you will wait for the right bet you will make a lot of analysis in different sports uh if you have time if you make your analysis uh, and then you will wait for the right bet okay uh, because a bet a good bet is basically a mistake by a market okay so if you think you're smarter than the whole market in every single game then something is wrong uh, with you probably right so we what i want to say is that it is smart to be patient okay uh you cannot find the value in every single game sometimes uh you will wait uh, days uh and then you will make a bet okay but the most important thing is that you have the systems uh and betting algorithms or betting models for the whole year so you can make analysis and you can uh hustle and grind and make these small profits okay uh, 
Colorado Avalanche, <clears throat> no, uh, we have Vancouver Canucks, Nashville Predators, Dame Cosaros. Uh, based on my projections, Nashville 52.67%, Vancouver 47.33%. Uh, not, not, not enough value because, as you see, my projected odds are basically the same as bookmakers' odds. Uh, Colorado against Chicago, the same story. Uh, my numbers and bookmakers' numbers are very similar. Uh, Ottawa, Arizona, Again, no value. As, as you see, those are my projected, independently projected odds. Uh, I project the odds even before I check the bookmaker's odds. So I simply calculate with my betting model my odds, and then I check the bookmaker's odds, and they are the same, right? So my betting model calculates the same odds and bookmaker's odds in most cases. Uh, so uh, no value. And then mm -hmm. I have one qualified bet, Los Angeles Kings. Uh, I use one uh, special formula, uh, Calic criterion formula uh, to uh, calculate uh, or or determine if uh, some bet is qualified and this is qualified bet based on my uh, formula. But if we look at probabilities, King 75.83%, uh, San Jose 24.17%. Uh, so King should be a little bit bigger favorite. And this is because of that, this is one unit qualified bet. Okay. Uh, so that's it for me today. Thank you for watching and whatever you decide to take. I wish you good luck and always remember, don't blindly follow anyone speaks. Uh, always make your own bets. Always look for how to bet, not what to bet. Okay, that's my advice. You can do whatever uh, you can do whatever you want with this. I wish you good luck.